Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Sales Copilot video. My name is Craig Kreskis. I am a cloud solution architect here at Microsoft, and I am here to present to you one of two videos on how to position, configure, and demonstrate Microsoft Sales Copilot. As you can tell, this is part one of a two-part video, and this video is focused on the steps for you as pre-sales professionals to install, set up, and configure all of the settings so that you can enable this experience to your prospects and customers. Now, there are a couple of features that I will highlight uh, that are not necessarily directly impacting Copilot, but do help augment the entire experience. Uh, you'll see that as we get into this video. And as you think about how to shape your conversations around Copilot, just think about your own role, you know, where you spend your time after a phone call or after a meeting that you happen to be leading. You may create a recap. You may have follow-up tasks. Or if you're sending out an email, a follow-up to a prospect, and it takes time and effort to carefully craft your email message. Well, salespeople are doing this all day long, all week long, as they're interacting and sending messages, communications back and forth to their customers and prospects. So think about as we bring in this generation of co-pilot, you know, think about the way in which this change, this experience builds upon the already existing amazing experience that our customers have with the Dynamics 365 applications today. So let's dive in to how Microsoft Sales Copilot can help reduce those mundane tasks that sellers are typically caught up with doing, you know, whether that's uncovering productivity gains, personalizing their interactions, or just staying inside the flow of their workday. So as you can see on the screen here, I've got a couple of steps to help guide you through the process. We will begin by installing Copilot inside of the Dynamics 365 application for sales. We'll then go into the admin centers for Teams, and then we'll connect Outlook with Copilot. There's a couple of settings, as I mentioned here in the sales app, where we don't necessarily have a direct impact to Copilot, but it does enhance the output. And that's around team calls, sentiment, and the follow-up action items. And then we'll go ahead and install Copilot inside of Microsoft Teams. So let's begin. I'm going to start out first by just showing you how to install Copilot for sales. Now, there are a couple of ways in which you can do this. I'm going to just take the long route. And that route begins with starting the admin center. So you'll navigate to admin.microsoft.com. And just as a caveat, I'm using my CDX demo environment, which allows me obviously to have admin experience, admin credentials or privileges where I can navigate uh, to turn all these settings on. So I'm gonna go ahead and select to show all and under the settings feature, you'll see here, we have something called integrated apps. You'll select on the get apps capability. And what this does is it, you can see it presents a window into app source. So again, as I mentioned, there are a number of ways in which you can get to installing Microsoft Sales Copilot. From here, you'll search into uh, the window, you'll select Copilot, and now you'll see here there's Sales Copilot for Outlook. So let's go ahead and get that now. I'll select Get It Now, agreeing to the terms, and then just follow the prompts on deploying this. You can certainly deploy Teams as well. I just did the one step with Outlook. I'm going to select my entire organization. We'll accept the permissions, selecting Next. And then I finish the deployment, and that's all I need to do. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, this may take a moment or two. Uh, you'll notice uh, here on my screen, I knew that I was done once my status was set to OK. And now you've got uh, Microsoft Sales Copilot installed. Again, you can go direct to AppSource. I just kind of showed you the long way of getting there. 
Now there are a few features, uh, capabilities, policies that you need to enable and we're going to do this inside of Teams Admin Center. Again, some of these features it may not be directly about Copilot, but they do impact the overall message and story you're going to want to tell once you've got this configured. On the bottom left corner, you can see I've got my Teams Admin Center highlighted. And then you'll go ahead and select the Teams app. And we're looking for setup policies. Now, currently in this environment, I have two policies. We're going to go ahead and add a third one. Uh, you'll name it, of course, but you go ahead and search for your apps here on the right side. You'll type in for Sales Copilot. It should autopilot. You'll select Add and then Add again. And then just give the policy a name. I made this appropriately, Sales Copilot. And then save your work. And then, of course, you want to allow users to pin the app. Now that you're done, you can see uh, up in the top right, I've got a confirmation that was correct. Let's go ahead and kind of continue that navigation into meetings. And we're going to update some meeting policies. Select on the global policy. And this continues to change just as uh, versions of Teams changes. So again, the ultimate capability of what you're looking for is under transcription. And we'll enable this. And again, if you want to read more about it, but essentially we're going to use this connected with Copilot to drive sentiment and to drive uh, follow-up features and follow-up conversations and meeting summarizations based on calls that we're going to have with a customer during video number two during the demo. Go ahead and save that. Again, I'll go ahead and confirm that will take a moment or two in your tenant as it did for me. Next, uh, the other area you want to update is under voice and calling policies. Again, open up the global policy. And let's go ahead and enable the cloud recording for calling and the same thing for uh, transcription. We're going to go ahead and enable that for our meetings. Select save and then go ahead and confirm. Again, I get a message up in the ribbon here at the top in the message bar that tells me that that policy has been changed. So that is all you need to do inside of the admin center. Again, some of those features probably might be too much for some of your basic demonstrations. And yet, when you have that highlighted, you'll see the full breadth of both recordings, transcripts, and Copilot. Let's go ahead and connect this together. So I'm going to navigate outside of the admin center by just using my uh, switch here and the app switch. And here you can see I'm inside of Outlook. I'm just going to grab an email. And you'll notice uh, on the ellipsis for the call out, that I have a uh, select on Copilot, which is one of the apps that I now have installed. And this is gonna, this feature here, I guess at this window and this setup is gonna determine uh, which CRM application you're connecting to. I don't have access to Salesforce, but I do have a tenant in Dynamics 365 Sales. So again, just so those of you know, Microsoft Sales Copilot does work in both environments. I'll go ahead and sign into Dynamics 365. Make sure if you do have multiple environments here that you are selecting the current and correct one. Go ahead and get started. And now you can see I've got Sales Copilot on the right side enabled and ready to go with my tenant. Next, we're going to go ahead and configure some of the application settings inside of the Sales app. So these are, again, some of the additional features that will extend the capabilities of the salesperson experience. But it does all bleed into productivity gains as well as part of your Copilot experience. In Dynamics 365 Sales, go ahead and select the area page. And you're going to want to move from Sales to the App Setting. And inside of the app setting, you'll notice we've got a couple of things around here, productivity, sales copilot, and Teams meetings. Now, the first feature I want you to enable is this Teams integration. What this does, it allows sellers to quickly access and update Dynamics 365 records inside of Microsoft Teams, either before, or during, or even after meetings. It also allows me to synchronize calendars, as you can see here. So again, make those changes select save. Now as a pre-sales consultant, you might want to highlight the opportunity for salespeople to create meetings inside 
of Dynamics 365 sales and also to have that meeting which they schedule to appear inside of Teams calendar but also Outlook calendar. To enable this in your environment, you're going to want to navigate to the Admin Center and you'll do this inside of the Power Platform Admin Center. So I just Alt-Tab navigated to that environment and find the environment that we're referring to. You'll select on Settings and hidden under the Product, you'll find Collaboration. And here you'll see, again, where I want to make sure that I can add Teams meetings. I'll highlight this with my pen so that you can see how I can collaborate in, and also integrate with those two experiences. Kind of back to that, you know, I'm working in the flow of my day. I don't want to have to switch to my CRM application to see what meetings I have scheduled. I can just using whatever application that I have on my screen to do my job. Let's alt tab back into sales. And I want you to go ahead and, and return into the Teams calls. Here is where you can enable the Teams dialer to help you be more productive as a seller. So I can, again, have those or engage those phone calls directly within my Dynamics 365 applications. Now, the last feature I have here before we publish is this real-time transcript and insights, also known as conversation intelligence within Teams. And what that gets you is a real-time analysis of call data. That includes an overview, summary, transcription, insights, follow-up tasks, and any action items. So again, sellers and managers can also use this as a way to review the conversations they've had with customers. They can quickly find and isolate you know, common, tax, common talking points or keywords or maybe trends that were happening inside the call. So I encourage you to turn that on in your demo environment. Once you're done, you go ahead and publish. Now, if you want to look at some of the advanced settings for call insights or conversation insights, go ahead and select on the advanced features tab. And you'll notice here, uh, this is where I can, I can modify the call storage uh, where I always focus on to my audience is to expand the business settings. So here is where you can see we can track uh, key words or competition or things that I might be saying I might want to understand as I'm having that coaching moment with a sales rep. So again, you can personalize this here in the advanced features. Now we're almost done. We just want to install Copilot inside of Teams. Again, just so that you have that blended experience so it doesn't matter where somebody is navigating to or what application they're working in, they still have access to the information and the tasks at hand. So let's navigate to Teams. And you'll want to go ahead into the apps. You'll search for Copilot. Here you can see I'll go ahead and select Copilot. And from the drop down, you notice I can either add this to a team, to an individual chat, or to a meeting. I'll go ahead and add this to a team. I'll set up the bot. And then once I've done that, I'll go ahead and search for it. Again, I could pin this. And then from here to some of the settings behind the scenes, uh, you can notice that Copilot AI features makes it easier for me to write emails, saves time with some of the summaries and the email threads. As well, you can enable or turn on uh, the forms and fields that are coming through from Dynamics 365 sales. You can see here in the bottom left, that I'm signed into that application. And that is basically a recap of all the steps that you'll need to enable Copilot with your Dynamics 365 application. So we began with installing a Copilot for sales. We configured those team policies, connected to Outlook, configured the sales app, and then made sure that was also enabled inside of Teams. I want to thank you all so much for your time and attention. Again, this is part one of a two-part video. This was just designed to help set up a demo environment. Please join me in video number two, where I'll demonstrate how you would do a presentation or a demo to your customers and prospects. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you on a video real soon.